Welcome back. You are watching the training video series on Oracle Learning Cloud. In this video, you will learn about specializations, how they are different from courses, and how learning specialists can create and use specializations to drive learning in their organizations. A specialization contains multiple courses grouped together as a single entity to help learners achieve a learning goal that a single course cannot provide. Think of specialization as a curriculum or learning path. Specialization is made up of sections and sections have activities that point to the existing courses from the catalog. Here you see an example of specialization called employee welfare. It has two sections. Section one is related to workplace safety and section two is about wellness. Now section one has two courses which are related of course. Similarly, section two has one course. All this together forms a specialization. If you were to visualize, this is how a specialization can be represented in the Learning Cloud Catalog. We have discussed the Learning Cloud Catalog in detail in our first video. Please check it out if you have not already. So a specialization is like a curriculum or a learning path. Specialization contains courses logically grouped into sections. Specialization may consist of one or more sections. Sections and its activities have flexible completion rules. For example, within a section, all the courses may be mandatory or optional or a combination. Specialization is completed when all sections are completed as defined in the section completion rule. Let's now look at how a learning specialist will go about creating a specialization. Learning specialist needs to go to the manage catalog area and the specializations tab and click create specialization then provide general information about the specialization you may want to use a title that conveys the purpose of specialization since a specialization includes multiple courses with different titles then include a cover art and trailer video to make it interesting and appealing to your learners then choose a start date and end date a specialization is visible in the catalog only between the start and end dates and therefore learners can access the specialization only between these dates. So this is the general information about the specialization. Next step would be to create one or more sections. To create a section, provide a title and description. Select number of activities to complete, which can take values from zero to all. If it is zero, then the section is optional. And if it is all, then all the activities need to be completed. It could also be any value between zero and all. Specialist can then set the initial assignment status of activities, which can be active, requested, or inherit from course or inherit from the specialization. For example, if it is chosen as active, all the courses in the section will be active, regardless of the course access rule defined for the learner. This setting can help drive assignment from the specialization rather than the individual courses. Specialists can then add activities to a saved section by searching for and selecting existing courses from the catalog. When a course is searched, specialists can see the number of active offerings available for that particular course. Repeat this to add more sections and activities. The sections in a specialization and the activities can be reordered to control how they appear to learners in their self-service. Let us now see how this looks inside the application. This screenshot is about create specialization, the first step where you need to provide the general information about the specialization. So here, learning specialist provides the title, description, and the published start and end dates. Learning specialist can also add the cover art and trailer suitably. Next, you would create a section. So to create a section, provide the title, description, number of activities to complete and the initial assignment status of activities within this section. A section is created when you have saved the section in the previous step. Next, the specialist would add activities by selecting the course from the catalog. A section can have one or more activities. That would complete creation of a section. Specialist could add more than one section to create the specialization. A learner who has been assigned a specialization would need to complete all the sections to complete the specialization. As we saw previously, 
A section can have zero or all activities that need to be completed to complete the section. When all sections are completed as defined in the section completion rule, the specialization is completed for the learner. Now, if this specialization has courses which learner has previously completed, learner need not complete it again. Such courses will be counted towards completion of the specialization. Now that we have seen how a specialization is created and can be completed, let's see how it is different than a course and when it may be used. Course is typically focused on a single topic, example, health and safety, ergonomics, etc. Specialization is used for larger learning objective and it is created by reusing and packaging various related courses. Example, employee welfare is a specialization which is created by reusing three existing courses. There are two courses which are logically related, so they are grouped under one section called workplace safety. Then there is another section called wellness and it has a course on ergonomics. So sections with the courses within them form the specialization which can impart larger learning to its learners. Let's wrap this topic by discussing a real-time use case. A learning specialist is required to create a training for a bunch of recently hired retail associates in a retail company. The training should cover various topics needed for them to be effective at work. Learning specialist puts together a specialization titled New Hire Onboarding for Retail Associates 2019. He then uses existing courses from the company learning catalog. Specialist adds three sections around compliance, managing store operations, and customer orientation. Then he adds courses from the learning catalog and puts them into relevant sections. The new hired retail associates are expected to complete the specialization as part of their onboarding tasks. So that concludes the video on managing specializations. Hope you found it useful. Please check out other videos from this training series.